What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at an anomaly that showed up on the sun today, brought to my attention by Alicia from Australia. It's as if the sun ran out of gas. I want to show you guys a, a video of an airplane flying through the sky. Quick video taken by, by Gretchen, who happened to notice black smoke billowing from the airplane. I don't think this made the, the mainstream news as this was just a, a super fast video. Gretchen was sitting in her car and she looked up and saw this airplane flying through the sky. I'm not sure of the location, as she didn't tell me, but you can clearly see on April 8th at 4.16 p.m. she noticed an airplane flying through the sky. And like she said right there, why is it doing that? Here I zoom in, I slow it down. You can clearly see this airplane's having some sort of issues and it looks like black smoke's coming out of maybe one or two of the engines. It's difficult to tell. This video was probably no more than four seconds long. Again, she was sitting in her car facing this direction and she just had enough time to capture a few seconds of this airplane smoking in the sky. Again, she didn't tell me where this was at. I'm assuming that the plane landed safely, but that was one scary situation looking up and, and seeing an airplane flying through the sky with black smoke coming out the back of it. I wanted to share with you guys some video footage that's been sent in here recently of Starlink satellite trains. This first video is out of Macon, Georgia, sent in by Bobby K. If you guys happen to look up and, and notice something like this in the nighttime sky, more than likely what you're looking at is a Starlink satellite train that's more than likely just been sent up into low Earth orbit within the last week or so. Normally this is what it looks like before it spans out and you can't even really see it anymore. And here's example number two out of Rolland, Arkansas. Walker sent in the video April 16th of 2025, he too noticed the, the large Starlink moving through the nighttime sky. However, when we go to Arizona, this one's a little bit different. This video was taken on April 7th by Brian out of Santan, Arizona. Notice how slow that's moving through the sky, but notice the similarities to a Starlink satellite train. What was that? Was that a Starlink? Or is that another one of these big motherships that we've been seeing all around the world here recently? Almost looks like it could be part of something larger that you just can't see in the sky. We've seen a lot of those videos here recently. People have been noticing what look like motherships, large craft sitting in the nighttime sky. It is moving. It does have similarities to a Starlink satellite train. Maybe that's what it was. It could have been just the odd angle. This video here by Sherry, also on April 16th. Definitely looks like a, a Starlink satellite train soaring through the, the sky, very high up in the sky. Unlike the video we saw out of Arizona, the lights looked very low and slow. April 16th, Bob Robinson also looked up and noticed the, the Starlink satellite train very high in the sky and pretty much unmistakable. What was going on right there out here in Arizona? Was that something different? Very well could have been something mysterious above Santan, Arizona. And speaking of mysterious lights, check this out. Video footage sent in by Joe out of Arkansas from April 12th of 2025. He sent in this video footage of the sky full of orange lights. Normally, I would say these are Chinese lanterns moving through the sky at the mercy of the wind. They don't have a propulsion system. They are totally at the mercy of the wind. However, with Chinese lanterns, they don't last very long, no more than about 90 seconds. There was something right up there that was flashing also in the video. And these things, as you're going to see, appear to have traveled a very long way. And the reason they don't last very long, there's a limited amount of fuel on these things as they're a small flame. And number two, for safety reasons, you don't want these things flying through the sky for multiple hours with an open flame inside the, the canopy of the lantern. So they only last about 90 seconds, maybe two minutes tops. But these things here seem to be long duration. I suppose they could have always been drones. But look, there's even more coming. And that's probably, what, four miles away? They don't usually last that long. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here either. Much like the lights above Santana, Arizona, these two have a mysterious component to them. 
I can't say 100% that those are indeed Chinese lanterns. I suppose they could be drones. We always have that option on the table with mysterious lights in the nighttime sky. That's just how it is in today's world. Drones are, are very popular. They're everywhere. But, but these aren't necessarily behaving like drones. Drones typically put off a sound, depending on the type of drone. These don't appear to be making any type of sound. And they're traveling a very long way. They don't necessarily appear to be under intelligent control. I suppose they could be but they almost appear to be drifting with the wind. But why are they lasting so long? Those things, whatever they were, traveled several miles all the way up here to Joe's location from way back there. Again, probably four miles away. And that's usually not a classic Chinese lantern. I'm not quite sure what he saw there. Very interesting video. Speaking of interesting, check this out. We all know the sun emits solar wind, and it's a constant, right? How did this happen, then, if the solar wind is a constant? This was sent in by Alicia out of Australia, 419 of 2025. She noticed this anomaly on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. It's a spacecraft that monitors the sun. Looked like a chunk of the sun just fell off. What? Look at that. Are you kidding me? I've been watching this thing since it was put in orbit in 2009. I use it every day. I have for years. I've never seen anything like that. A chunk of the sun just fell off and dropped straight down. Normally that type of stuff comes off of the sun with, with a fair amount of force. Let me show you an example of a, of a strong storm from back in 2003. And notice down here in the lower right hand corner, we talked about this a few days ago, how sometimes comets will enter the field of view and then following the comet's disappearance, there'll be a large eruption off the sun. Well, that happened on this day. Watch down here, you're gonna see a comet enter the field of view and then following the comet disappearing, one of the largest eruptions ever recorded. Coincidence? I suppose so, but I've seen those types of coincidences many, many times. But notice the velocity at which the, the solar flare CME came off the surface of the sun. What happened here? It had no horsepower at all. It just fell off of the sun. Where's the solar wind? The solar wind is a constant, right? That should have came off this way not drop straight down. And I've inserted over here on the right the, the Soho Lasco C2. This is the SDO over here on the left. This is the same incident. Notice the behavior of the, the SDO right there. It's not necessarily consistent with what we just saw on the SDO. The SDO, the, the plasma just fell off. This over here showed a, a pretty strong eruption right there, which is totally inconsistent with what we saw. And this thing you see right here is some sort of an anomaly on the spacecraft that's not actually in the sky. But I found that very odd. It was as if the sun ran out of horsepower this morning and a large chunk of plasma, for whatever reason, right there, just literally fell off of the southeastern limb of the sun. That is super rare, super weird. Is there something going on with the sun that we don't know about? Plasma, a large amount of plasma, literally falling off of the sun less than 12 hours ago. Very rare indeed. And speaking of rare, check out this sky right here. Incredible photo. Look like giant wings in the sky. Photo sent in by David. That's the feature photo today over here at the homepage of the website. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, Come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.